Hey YouTubers, sorry it's been so long, um, but now I'm home in Duluth, I came home from break, really happy to be here, having a great break, and so I just wanted to kind of do a video about, or of a little bit more personal nature, not about any issue today, just kind of, you know, so you can, you know, I wanted to show you my room, and um, also I wanted to share with you a little story about why I started to do this vlog. Um, and, or, what really has allowed me to do this vlog, I guess. So, I'll start with my room. Um, this is my room. I love it. Um, it's really, really bright blue. But my favorite part is, you can see, I'm, I'll spin a little bit. This is my bed and stuff, but this is Lake Superior. And this is what I get to go to sleep to every night. And it's especially gorgeous today. And I absolutely positively love it. And um, I don't know if any of you have noticed, but I have Lake Superior tattooed on my forearm here. You can see, yeah, you can see it there. Um, and so Lake Superior is obviously a major, major, major part of my life. Um, I only moved to Duluth three years ago. I grew up down in the Twin Cities. Um, we moved here after my sister graduated. My dad grew up here, so he wanted to come home. And we bought this house, which used to be in our grandma's house, and uh, remodeled it a little bit. And so my room was part of the the newer part. Um, and it, it was really fun getting to kind of pick out the way, you know, I wanted it all to be. I, you know, got to, basically got to design my room for me. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's it's been so great being home. I have missed the lake so much. Um, the lake really is a grounding, a grounding feature. Like it, seeing it every day, all the time, just keeps you sane. It lets you, it just gives your life a solid foundation. Um, and being away from that has been difficult for me. But that was why I got it tattooed on my arm. Um, I got my tattoo in June. And it was a very good decision. I get lots of compliments on it. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, and for those of you who are not familiar with Duluth, I strongly suggest you look it up, do some research, look at pictures, because it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful city. And at some point in all your lives, I hope you can come see it. Um, but to the main event. Um, so, a little background on me. My dad is one of seven children, and his youngest brother, uh, Peter, is also gay. Um, and Peter, I, I have mentioned him before, he married his husband in New York City this year, um, in October, or I guess last year. Happy New Year's, by the way. Um, he, he got married in October, um, uh, just before Halloween last year. And so that's, I did a vlog while I was in New York City. And they, I just, I wanted to share kind of their story a little bit, um, as much as I can share, because it's obviously not my story to share, um, but, and mostly how it's impacted me. Um, Peter has been out to my family for as long as I've been alive. He met um, John, his now husband, in New York City in 1991, so two years before I was born. And so, for my entire life, I've had this kind of very stable, um, this very stable role model of what a gay relationship looks like. And a lot of people worry, like, when somebody comes out, they worry that, oh my gosh, they're never going to have an opportunity to have a real life, to have a happy, fulfilling life. And I never really had that issue, because I've always had Peter and John in my life. And so it really, it made it a lot easier to come out um, because they had already break, broken down all those barriers and they had proved to everybody that I knew pretty much that being gay was not a, you know, a life ruining thing. It was just another, it was just the same. Um, and that has been a truly fantastic fantastic uh, influence on my life and so like another part of that is like my idea of what a relationship should be has been kind of defined by watching them as I've grown up 
um, and they've just kind of been my sample. Um, and so I would like to think that because of having them in my life, I don't think about, or I, I, I look at relationships as more of a, or at least, especially gay relationships as, um, more of a solid thing. Not a lot of, a lot of the criticism that the gay community gets is that, um, it's not, you know, the relationships are not founded on a solid foundation and its members are promiscuous and promiscuous, promiscuous and, you know, all sorts of all this crap. But I've never really had to worry about that because I've always known that Peter and John, this stable 20 year long relationship is what a gay relationship is. Um, and it's no different than anything else. So, I don't know, it's just, watching them as I've grown up has really, really impacted my life, and I owe a lot of my, who I am as a gay man to them. Um, obviously, I owe a lot to, you know, an accepting family in general, and great friends, and whatever else, but I don't know how different my life would have been if Peter and John weren't in there and if, you know, John hadn't, or if Peter hadn't come out before I was born, um, because he really set the precedent for my whole family of, you know, gay is okay. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's really spectacular. And so I, I started this vlog partially because I had just seen, um, the YouTube video by Are You Surprised, where he comes out to his dad on the telephone. Uh, it's the, you know, the army soldier, um, or the, yeah. And so that was part of it, but another part was I've kind of always had this very stable foundation that I think a lot of the gay community has, la has lacked um, as they're growing up and coming out. And I just, I wanted to show all of these people that, you know, I wanted to pass along my family to you guys, if you will, and just kind of give back, I guess. Um, I'm not really sure how to say it, but I just, I wanted to share and show everybody that, like Peter and John did for my family, that gay is okay. Um, and that you don't have to f fit, you know, certain stereotypes and whatever. It's however you want to be, I guess. Um, so anyway, I would also like to, at some point, do a more, like, personal show, like, where um, I get, I answer questions that you guys have or whatever. So um, I guess if you want to comment on this video with your reactions to this video that I can follow up on later, and then any questions you might have. I, I like to think of my life as a pr as pretty much an open book, so I'll answer nearly anything. Um, so just submit some questions down below. Um, you can also tweet at me, jfifield116. Um, if you want to follow my Instagram thing, that's also jfifield116. I've been posting a lot of pictures of Lake Superior lately. I like to share the beauty of Duluth. Um, but otherwise, um, I'm really enjoying break. It's going too quickly. Um, haven't gotten out enough. But I did clean my room last night, so that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, so if you guys submit some questions, I'll, I'll probably hopefully do another vlog next week. We'll see. Um, anyway, I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye-bye.